All right, everyone. Welcome to Rhythm and Roads. I'm your host, Joshua Jacob. We have a very special guest. We have Valerie Dermas. Uh, Val, what is it? Tattoos by Val? Yes. Yeah, there you go. So welcome, Val. Pleasure to have Hi. you on Rhythm and Roads. It's so good to see you. Yeah, so good, good to see you. Here. Yeah. So tell me, your, like, I've known you for a couple of, like, three, four years, I believe, but I've known that you're very active and very health conscious and like you stay fit. Like, what motivated you to have that lifestyle? Uh, well, it started because I was a physical education teacher. For a oh, while. you were? Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know mm-hmm. that. Huh? Yeah, for about five years. Oh, wow. Okay. I was pretty overweight. So um, <laughs> when I first started, so um, I started having some health issues. And so oh, that wow. okay. motivated me to change my whole life around. Wow. And ever since you've done that, have you seen a whole, like, I mean, I've, I would say you've seen so much of a health improvement and just oh, to see how important it is to have a, a kind of healthy lifestyle, right? Yeah, definitely. It's yeah. one of my passions now, honestly. Yeah. Are you a trainer as well? Like a fitness trainer? No, not officially. I mean, I kind of do it. Um, like to help friends out or family. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh, that's cool. No, I mean, that's cool. Cause yeah, I do see you post a lot about like your jogs, how far you're going, you know, and I'm just like, sometimes it's like miles and hours. I was like, damn, that's a long, <laughs> like I probably passed out after the second. I don't know. I was playing, but, um, yeah. But, you know, and I noticed you during like Thanksgiving, um, I guess when they have those 5K runs and all that, you participate in that as well, which is very cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, that's cool that you guys like you like to stay active and you're getting the full. And I'm glad things change for your um health as well. You know, that's good for improvement on that. You know, and that's what I'm trying to do, too, is keep myself healthy because, you know, we get older. <laughs> I'm like 36. I'm like, damn, I'm not 21 anymore. I can't just just buy a burger just because like i gotta watch so, yeah. oh, i hate that <laughs> i know it's like one of the chicos but uh you know I'm, like, I'm like, yeah. I just want to all the time <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's funny so i want to do get to the story of like because uh, you were also a teacher right like an elementary teacher at once yeah yeah still... physical... no no oh. i quit this year oh you did okay so that was a physical education okay i, yeah. I thought it was something okay so you just you quit oh wow yeah, after how many years five yeah oh the five oh wow yeah. okay then from there you just uh so you're doing this tattoos by val full-time yeah it's my full-time Dang, gig now that is awesome so you're an entrepreneur so I, uh, oh yes, my god I wanted to be one i just i was afraid to do it and then i was like mm. oh I gotta take that jump awesome that's awesome you know actually i just uh did an interview last night with uh chef clay berry yes. uh, he's, yeah so he he was sharing the same thing i mean i worked with him at costco and just the fact yeah. that yeah we that's where i met him and the fact that he uh did pretty much said the same thing he just took that leap of faith and said hey i'm gonna do it I, and you know it's scary because you just the unknown but yeah he's doing well now so i'm glad you took that leap of faith man just jumping to it and be like you know i'm gonna do it but yeah. i do want to let i do want to ask i mean i know you've been very passionate about tattoos and you have quite an awesome art with your own but what made you want to get into that to do tattoos um honestly well as you can see i I love tattoos like since i was as like 18 i as soon as i could get my first tattoo i told my parents like take me to get one (laughs) oh yeah when you turned 18 (laughs) yeah they were pretty against me but they were like you know might as well be with you while you're doing it and so i wouldn't go do it behind their back i guess oh okay Um, so i kind of just it took off from there Mm -hmm. Uh, i've always loved art in all forms but i kind of always talk myself out of it like I can't get a job in art like mm. I can't do stuff like that right so I've always had a big support system and I don't know I guess I had a mid-20s or late 20s existential crisis and I'm like life is too short yes <laughs> you know I'm like and, yeah. and everybody would tell me like God gave you a talent mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. my music and you know I was like okay I'm gonna do it <laughs> Awesome. And so so if you don't mind me asking, that talent that you said God gave you, like, is it because of you drawing art? Like, you're very artistic in doing that and designs? Yeah. Wow, I think okay. I just, uh, God blessed me with, like, uh, the drive for creativity. Mm, right. You know? yeah. Like, yeah. I want to do all kinds of art projects, painting, oh, drawing, crafts, things like that, you know? Yeah, that's awesome. And so when did this take, like, when did you realize, like, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to leave this full-time permanent job you know having that that safety knowing i'm getting a check every two weeks to doing my passion living life 
doing what I want to do. And then, you know, when did you realize that? Like, that's interesting. Just this, that transition. Was it last year? Was it? Mm -hmm. I think it started last year. Yeah. Um, I loved my job. Like, to be honest, my students were my everything, you uh, know, yeah. they really were. Uh, but I, because of my health issues, like it mm -hmm. all just kind of put everything into perspective. Mm -hmm. I was like, can I really do this for the rest of my life physically? <laughs> And it was so draining and exhausting. Oh, and man. even though my kids were my motivation, I yeah. just basically felt like, what am I doing? Mm. So it kind of started last year. And from there, just the thoughts wouldn't get out of my head. So I'm like, this is like, there's go. the fire right there. Let's go. It's yeah. Like, like, do it, do it. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> and then, yeah, man, you know, you're kind of like, okay, I'm going to do it. And then you're like, and then what you, did you tell your parents, your family? You were just kind of like, Hey, so I feel like I'm going to, you know, do leave this, you know, being a fitness trainer, uh, education, all that, and full, full uh, pursue this full time being a tattoo artist. I kind of didn't want to mention it to anybody, uh, just to friends here and there. I would tell them like, you know, I think I want to buy a little kit, practice at home. Uh, okay. And my friends were like, you can practice on me. And I'm like, Ugh. oh, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Before, so I was like, okay, I'll try. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. They said if I didn't practice on them, like I wouldn't do it. So they kind mm. of pushed me it too. Yeah, just so, like, just do it. it I'm not going to die. <laughs> it wasn't up until like, I want to say a month before I decided to quit. I started telling everybody like, I might leave my job. I don't know yet. And, and their their heads turn like what? They're like, yeah, are you sure? like right? Oh mm -hmm. man, that's so cool. Thankfully, you know my my family's been so supportive in that's every awesome. Aspect. So I I really do appreciate that love from them. And that's what's important is to have that support, you know, through family, through friends. And I'm glad your friends were pretty much saying, hey, practice on me. You're like, oh, hey. You know, I was like, like I'm hurt sure. you. <laughs> I bet you're all shaking with the, with the, uh, I was that worst. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be shivering too. Like, all right, don't hurt me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. But you know, so you, you've been at this point now in a year already, right? Doing this? About, yeah. Dang. Almost a year. And so do you have like your own rents, like you're renting a space to do this? Like, where are you actually doing this currently? I'm at a shop on town at Estilo Firme. Okay. Is this far yeah. east or I'm not familiar with? No, no, it's downtown. Uh, oh, it's downtown. downtown. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. And then so is this like a tattoo parlor where there's other artists there? Or is it just your own or? No, no, it's a tattoo shop with, uh, I think there's like eight or nine artists now. We just got two eight new ones. Eight or nine? Ones. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So it must be a really big space. Yeah, it's pretty big. It has two stories, so it's really cool. Two stories? Man, that's so cool. I like to check this place out. I didn't know. I've never been to a tattoo parlor that's two stories. Like, what the heck? Yeah, no, it's really, really cool. Do you guys have, like, champagne and all this, like, you know, cool stuff? That's funny. I mean, <laughs> I know, right? like, like, man, is this pretty, like, luxury? Like, oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> two stories. Red yeah, carpet. Was, yeah, I know. We were actually talking about a red carpet the other day. <laughs> oh, were you? Oh, yeah. You guys should do a cool event. Yeah. And yeah. the half champagne, too. <laughs> I know. We should. That'd be cool. So, um, so with how do you, so did you like, there's no education on it? You like, who taught you how to do this? I'm really curious, like, on how to do the artwork on being a tattoo artist. So I started learning on my own. Uh, I was taking like online courses. Oh, uh, you were. Oh, that's cool. So the good thing is, like, I kind of had an artsy background already. All right, um, and thankfully, like there were a lot of artists here in El Paso and then uh, in Odessa that were like willing to help me out, help me That's like. Awesome. Um, it's crazy when you put your passion out there, right. and God brings these people to you. Mm, you know, like I know. Yep. I yep. never in a million years thought that these people would oh, come into yeah. me. Like they did yeah. you know? I know what you mean, <laughs> and that, and that's exactly you know, and that's the thing is when you actually when you took that leap of faith and you actually officially left your job to pursue this, that's when the floodgates are open when you knew this was for you, right? Because you're seeing different people coming different directions. Some you may not even know and they're like, hey, I'll help you out. And you get all this great support from the community. You're like, yeah. man, like I should have did this a long time ago. What the heck? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right. We'll see what I mean. It was, it's kind of like, like there is a bigger future for you on that, but you just have to take that leap of faith and let go. For this to be released, you know what I mean? 
And then now that you did that, now it's just like, here it is presented yeah. to you. That's awesome. I, I I can relate to that. Not well, not leaving a job to do that, but I left, I actually, I'm not going to share it because it's not about me, it's about you. Oh. But, <laughs> but I did leave a permanent job for an interview, which is Costco. And I left, it was, I wasn't with the permanent job for a long time. It was only like three days. But I always wanted to work at Costco because it's a great company. But when I got the phone call for the interview and I was just barely three days in with this full time job, I was just torn because I was like, I had to go to this interview on the day where I had to work at this other job. But the interview was, you know, during the day. So I'm like, what do I do? So I tried to ask my manager. I was like the one I'm, I was at. I was like, can I you know, I do need to go to an appointment at three. Um, you know, is there a way I could just leave a little early today? And they were like, well, well, we need you here. And I'm like, okay, I don't understand that. But Tuesdays are really slow. And there's like a lot of us, you know, they're like, well, you know, if you go, then, you know, that's not good on you because we need you here. So if you do go to this appointment, you're pretty much walking away from the job. And that's when these got heated up. I was like, oh man, I was not expecting this. I thought you could be very lenient. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah. Okay. Like that's fine. Leave her early. It was only like two hours early before my shift ended. But I think, that. but I think the manager knew what this was. Yeah, it's for a job interview. Like, come on, you can do appointments, make arrangements, all that. But if it's something that, hey, I need to go somewhere, it's like, okay, you know. So yeah. where I'm getting at is that there's that moment what you probably felt where God gives you a like a moment where it's like, what are you going to decide? Yeah, you going to do it or you're not? Mm -hmm. Because that fear can stop us from doing so much in this life where we're like we you know second guess ourselves, we doubt ourselves. And so that moment, I he says, let me know what you decide. I went outside and I took the trash out and all that. And and I remember I felt this courage come over me so strong. And I was just like, oh, man. like, And I felt, do you need to do this? You will be okay. Whatever happens, just do it. And I went to the manager and I said, sir, thank you for this opportunity, but I'm going to go. He's like, okay, no hard feelings. Have a good day. And I walked and I was like, oh, my God, I'm leaving a full time job that I have for an interview, you know, and I'm just like, damn. So but I, I kept on walking, you know, what I mean, I didn't look back. I kept on because, yes, if you look back, you're like, oh, no, there's my, you know, my comfort. But I kept going I kept going. So make things short. Went to the interview that same day, three interviews at Costco and got the job. Wow. But you see what I mean? If I did, if I would have been kept in this job saying, well, this is an interview. I'm not guaranteed it. Yeah. I would rather just stay here because I have a full-time job. Mm -hmm. But I knew in my heart, you know, I really want to work at this company. I really want to go. And whatever happens, if I even if I don't get this job, I'm still going to be okay. Yeah. So, so for you, when you did that, you're like, you know what? I'm going to leave this to pursue this. I'm going to be okay. Whatever happens, at least I know I did it. And yeah, that's what counts. That's what counts, man. Mm -hmm. I think that's what makes your you feel like you're fulfilling your purpose, you know? Oh, uh, big time, yeah. Like you said, it uh, that fear really does stop us from doing it. Does. Mm -hmm. a lot of things. And to be honest, even now, um, I'm so blessed and I'm so grateful. Uh, every now and then, I still feel like I miss my job. You know, I miss my kids. Mm, but yeah. That's just I think that'll always be a connection because it was part of who I was. Right. Right. For a really long time, and but I can truly say that. Ever since I started that journey, I've been so happy. I've, I don't know, I've experienced life in such a different way. Oh, it's, man. It's super cool. And uh, every day I truly wake up and I'm like, man, this is such a blessing. Every day. Yeah. And just to have that in my heart is just, it's awesome. It's that is cool. awesome. Very cool. And thank you for sharing that story. I mean, just the journey from where you went to where you are now. It's amazing. And, and I really hope, you know, future entrepreneurs and those that really want to start their own business that they would, you know, I guess, be inspired by your story. And like last night with Chef Clay Berry's, you know, just saying, you know, if you have that want to start a business, if you want to be doing something that's very artistic, and you can earn money from that, it's possible. I mean, it, yes, at first, it's scary, because it's the unknown, but get people to help you with that. People who are already in the industry, those that are already done it, you know, they'll give you the wisdom, the advice, the journey. They'll give you the, the roadmap. You know, they'll help you. And there's, like you yeah. said, there's a lot of community in El Paso that will help those entrepreneurs to get started, you know. Mm -hmm. And so that was one of the things, too. I was afraid that people would be like, what is this girl trying to do, you know. But 
to my surprise, there's so many people willing to help mm, you. That's oh. awesome. Yeah. So. And and that's the cool thing is that they're not in a competitive mode. Like, well, like who does she think she wants to be an artist? Like, there's so many. Yeah. You know I mean, there it's like everyone coming together, be like, hey, you know, we have our story. We want you to have your story. Let's help you out. You know, yeah. Because every artist is great. Not everyone's gonna. We're not in this competition of trying to be better than anyone. Just we're all in the same road. We are <laughs> the same road. So yeah. now I did notice the other day you posted a uh, hoodie. So you're selling merch now. Yes, I'm trying Dang, to do that. Dang, girl. It's like I love creating and stuff. So I'm like, so cool. I want to get out there and do all kinds of stuff. Is this So is this your first of your brand of the hoodie or you have other stuff coming on like other merch? Um, I started doing like little random merch of my cats and stuff because I'm obsessed with my cats. Oh, uh, yeah. I remember that scene. So it was on Etsy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is my official merch for like my tattooing brand. So Okay, cool, I'm cool. I'm hoping to throw that out there. And if they wanted to order a, a hoodie from you, how do they go about it? Um, so right now it's through just DM because I'm doing pre-orders right now. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm hoping that within probably within the next two weeks, I'm going to set it up on my Etsy shop. Oh, nice. Okay, cool, cool. And be good yeah. for the holidays to get presents. Okay. Represent yeah, tattoos by Val. <laughs> Especially when it gets colder. Yeah. Yes. I don't know, like, I have a friend at work that he has his own uh, clothing brand as well, but he also has ho- uh, beanies. Do you plan on getting a beanie? Definitely. Those are, like, yeah. my beanies. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love beanies, so around this time, too. Yeah. Um, or even coffee mugs. Just throw them in. Yeah, coffee mug, tattoos by Val. <laughs> Sip on that coffee and be like, oh, represent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That's like, oh, there's nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Um, so... Those that want to get some tattoos by you done, um, where do they? Where's the place? If you don't mind sharing it again, to go. Do oh, it's, it's called Estilo Firme. Okay, and um, I guess you can share if you're able to some of the charges you charge. So right now I'm starting like at fifty bucks. Like the tiny little tattoos are like fifty. Oh, okay. Bucks, depending on the design, um, but I'd like to say that I have fair prices. You know, like it just yeah. depends. Yes. Okay, so you work around what they you go and they you meet with them. Yeah, um, yeah. Or they meet with you. Ideas like online and stuff uh, through DM. Like I'll send them a a good price for it. Okay, well that's cool. It's and, more practice and, for me too, you know. So what's that? It's more practice for me and getting to put like you know. So I I love working with people like that. Yeah, and that's awesome. And actually, I've seen so much of your clients already, and I I saw one with like a lion, and there was a cross on there. Yeah, that was oh my god, that was beautiful. I was like, she did that. Like, that's amazing. Like, wow, for just your first year in, it seems like you're already doing this for like ten years. I'm like, damn. Oh, thank you. I mean, for real. I mean, you just thought that artwork of that cross and the lion, which is beautifully done. Oh, thank you. Yeah, but I mean, I can't imagine when you first started actually getting clients that you didn't know, no friends, no family, like. You know, you started this, you had the confidence you were earning. And I was, was telling uh, Chef Barry yesterday that is that you're in the awkward stage. You're learning, you're growing, you know, and then you go to the learning stage where they're already practicing. You're doing all that. But now you're at the extinctive stage in life where you're already a professional earning money and doing this. So that's the thing about, I mean, just even for me, like anyone who starts a business and hobby, anything, they always go to those stages. And yeah. so... With you, I bet when you started, like you felt very, um, I guess the confidence started to grow, right? After your first one with a with a stranger and all of a sudden you start to see the outcome and they're like, hey, I like it. It's cool. You're like, oh, yeah. Definitely. I think what, what really helps my confidence is when they come back, you know, and, mm. and I'm returning there clients. And yeah. I've only been at the shop for like three months, three or four months. Oh, just three, four months? Okay. Yeah, I've been at the shop, so... I've already had returning clients, so that really, Dang, really. Dang, like, that is so. cool. So you already have a already uh, build up already clients, regular yeah. clients, and then then and then they share their friends with it. They're like, hey, like I know this tattoo artist, great yeah. tattoos by Val. That's how it goes. Spread the word. Yes, and I love that. I'm so grateful for every single client, or even if they just reach out to me. You know that for me, that's a big thing. You know, yeah, there's so many of them out there. Oh and, yeah, there's so many. Yeah, but uh, so the fact that they reach out to me, I'm like, oh. Thank you. <laughs> right. Lately, what has been one of your favorite projects you've done of uh, any of your artwork? Hmm, definitely the lion was. Uh, the lion was, one with the cross? Uh, my yeah, thing. Was... Um, How long did that take for you to do that? Oh, honestly, like, I want to say like six, seven hours. 
straight, just straight through? Yeah, straight. Oh, my damn. The what? <laughs> my client didn't want to take a break or anything. I'm like, all right. Dang, we're... all in, huh? Oh, my God. What happens, like, so, like, seven hours straight, so what, if you need to go to the restroom? <laughs> I mean, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, what about he needs to go or your client needs to go? I'll let them take breaks if they need it, you know? But oh, so, didn't... okay. Yeah, so, he was like. He just wanted to sit through it. He wanted to get it done. I'm like, all right, we got this. And I hope he got a water burger after that. Because I would have been like seven seven hours without eating him. But let's go. (laughs) (laughs) Nice tat. I want a water burger now. (laughs) Definitely. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even know, like, you could do, like, tattoos. uh, I guess when you're in the process of all that, it can be, like, seven hours straight at times. Yeah. The most I've done is, like, an hour, maybe, or two. Well, an hour or two, depending on the size. But sometimes, like, mine was, like, an hour and a half. Wow. My, <laughs> my longest tattoo I think that I did was a cover up and straight. We did like nine hours, nine almost ten nine hours. Out, ten hours for in mm-hmm. one day for one. Yeah. Oh my god. And what was what was the artwork on this? It was another lion, but it was a cover oh. up. Oh a cover up? Yeah. It took forever. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Ten hours. Oh yeah. my god. But the 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 outcome of it, of course, is just well like worth it of course you're like wow look at you know i was um even though i was tired like i guess i don't really feel it because i'm so into it and i mm. am so happy with getting it done that or like doing it that i don't even realize until i get home and i'm like oh my god my back <laughs> <laughs> well see and that's the cool thing is that you actually enjoy what you love doing like you do so of course it doesn't 10 hours to you is nothing you're like i love what i do so it goes by but yeah, yeah. like you said when you get home you're actually like, oh man i felt that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's cool i mean that's so cool that i mean just everything you've done the artwork that i've seen and i'm glad you're posting this you know on instagram and, and all your social media that we we can see the art yeah. but yeah i know you have your own personal account and you also have the tattoos by val mm-hmm. right do you also have facebook um as well or like I do, yeah. so i, I live so that way it posts everywhere <laughs> no that's good yeah you know, if you, I don't know if you have anyone to do these. Do you do those uh, photos on your own or do you have someone to come and take photos of your artwork? Uh, I do some of them on my own. Sometimes my friends come and help me out with okay. uh, things like that. But um, yeah, I'm hoping to get like professional videos soon and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And if you ever want me to help you out with that, because I do some side videos too, I can always help out and do oh, some yeah. videos. Of, yeah, because I do have professional equipment and cameras as well. Um, but I mean, you know, I mean, whatever we can, that's what I asked Lee, um, last night, Chef Clay was asking me f- to help him out with some videos too. And I was like, yeah, I'll help you out. So oh, we can always yeah. discuss that in the future, see what we can do. Yeah. I remember all your videos and all your equipment and you, you're awesome at what you do. So I would, <laughs> I would appreciate that a lot. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. But speaking of that little project we did with Gabe, I remember at the, um, what was that lake at? Uh, Sky Park. Park. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> but see, all we, <laughs> what we we did on that one. I think we had an iPhone, and we also used my friend's Sony camera. But yeah, that was that was funny. So actually, <laughs> catching up with Gabe, he actually is a part of a really successful group now of a band. Um, mm. Yeah, and they actually, their song played on the KLAQ uh, back in oh, August. Yeah. yeah, I was like, okay, and he, I, I didn't even know he was a singer. He was actually the lead singer of this band. I was like, bro, bro, so cool. like, yeah. <laughs> I know, but it was funny how we did that little skit of uh, Amber Lynn's song, yeah. Um, so yeah, it so, was one of my first projects like that, so it was a lot of fun working but with you guys. I do remember this, and here I'm not trying to put you on the spot on this. So, but here's this: you were actually almost backing out on that. I know. Remember that you, you're like, I don't know if I, I don't know if I can do it and all that. I'm like, no, that's fine. Like, you know, no pressure. But then you send me a text, like maybe later in the day, and you're like. You know what, Josh? I'm gonna do it. I'll meet you there. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, but see, you yeah. had a good time, right? I did. It was a blast. Yeah. Here, it's that social anxiety. <laughs> see what I mean? Yeah. I mean, we all go through it. We all feel like that. Yeah. I mean, when people ask me for something, I'm like, oh, but yeah. But see what I mean? It's like you you took that chance. You're like, hey, I don't know what this is about, but I'll try it. And yeah. you had a good time. So yeah. And I met some awesome people, you know? Yeah, you did. See? Yeah, yeah. So, that, and well, and then we kind of go back a little history of the fact where I used to work, where we first met. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Victoria's Secret. It doesn't Secret. know. Yeah. So, all right, guys. So, I used to work at Victoria's Secret. Okay. So, I worked there for 10 years. <laughs> and that's how I met Val, too, because I was very artistic doing films at the time still. So, yeah, that way you know the history, guys. <laughs> 
So Val, I want them to know, I want my viewers to just get to know you just a little bit before we close. Um, what's your favorite rock band or or genre of music? Because with you having that cool look, the tattoos, all that, I mean, I'm kind of curious. Like, I don't know. I, you probably heard me play that Paramore, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, I was all like, okay, I don't know. That's kind of like, that's cool. I was kind of, I was trying to put like, should I put Gwen, Stefani, you know, should I put, but I was yeah. like, I'll put Paramore. <laughs> um i actually right now my favorite genre of music is kind of like alternative type thing oh cool nice um uh, my favorite rock band i would say is bring me the horizon bring me the horizon mm -hmm. oh wow that sounds familiar are they uh local or are they pretty mainstream mm, i guess they're pretty mainstream are they okay i have to look them up locally i went to um a concert not too long ago cigarettes after sex oh where... yeah 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 at don haskins right <laughs> yeah you said they were your favorite band they're my favorite right now yeah oh they are okay yeah i heard that was a good concert it was, it was beautiful <laughs> oh, I bet, yeah i bet there's a lot more women there than guys huh i think so honestly <laughs> <laughs> yeah with that title be like uh. <laughs> <That's the way. laughs> i know actually it's funny because at work where i saw quite a few women wear that wear the shirt the day after the concert also like it. Like, too. Uh, there you go <laughs> no but um are you gonna actually go see tool because i know tools coming um in february i don't know if you're a fan of tool oh yeah i mean i hadn't really looked up it. Hard, but yeah i'd be so down to go tool is cool i've seen them three times oh my god this is <gasps> it's very rare that they come to el paso too so this yeah. is like a nice little treat i saw uh, someone posted um because i guess they post this on utep instagram mm -hmm. and there's people that share and comment one guy was all like, wow, Food Fighters, Tool, Brian Adams. Man, someone's on their prime. <laughs> for real? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like, everything's just back to back. I'm like, hey, that's good for El Paso. You know what I mean? It is. It's gotten so much more exposure, which is really cool. A lot of yeah, cool artists. Is. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, So back to you. What what kind of food do you like of, like, burgers, pizza? Like, what's your go-to? to go to? Man. It's gonna seem pretty lame, honestly. I no, go ahead. I love salads. Like that's all. Like if I could, really, that's all I have. yeah. Chicken salad. No, what kind yeah. of salad? Just regular. Like you know, my favorite place right now is Verde Salad. I don't know if you've been to it. No, where's that at? They have like a bunch of locations now, but the one I go to the most is on Zaragoza. Oh, okay. Yeah, there. It's called Verde Salad Co. Oh my, it's my favorite place. Mm, really? Okay. That's the salads. <laughs> nice nice okay yeah. uh movie what's your favorite movie that you, one of your favorite movies i know there's a lot but what's your yeah. one of your favorite movies the great gatsby really no way yeah. with leonardo yes dang that man, the last time i saw that was a while back but that's a, that is a good movie it's just a cinematic masterpiece to me <laughs> mm, right yeah uh, that's that's cool uh any other movie well or, or let, let me ask you this what's your favorite holiday movie don't no worry, the holidays coming up. Man, I like chick flicks. <laughs> so, mean Girls. No, well, yes, I love Mean Girls. That that movie's funny. Yeah. Oof, holiday movie. It's called The Last Holiday with Queen Latifah. Oh yeah, I'm, I've yeah. seen that one. Yeah, The Last Holiday. Okay, that one's your favorite. Why is it your favorite? I just like the message and the acting is so funny. I love it. I think she's she's a great actress. So. Okay. It's just beautiful, cool. yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing that when it first came out. It's a good movie. Mm -hmm. Cool, Val. Well, thanks for sharing about you, your music, alternative. So that's your go-to alternative rock. Yes. Nice. So I do want to invite you to Rosewood. I don't know if you've ever heard of a lounge called Rosewood. It's in downtown. No, I haven't actually. No? Okay, so uh, we're doing a Humane Society benefit show um for about six there's gonna be six bands and we're playing um I'm, my friend and i are playing but there's other bands playing it's a free show so you can bring friends whoever you want your colleagues um and we're doing this at rosewood lounge uh december 2nd starts at nine and so there's gonna be really good bands there's alternative rock bands there's electronic rock there's classic rock if you like kind of like black sabbath uh, oh, one of my favorite, my, one of my favorite bands that are going. My friends are part of a band called Monha, so they kind of have that Black Sabbath feel, which is really cool. And then at the end, my friend and I are we kind of started a little group just for this event called Sandy Claws. If you know where that's <laughs> yeah. from, yeah. yeah. 
So we're going to be doing covers from Nightmare Before Christmas, but make it punk rock. So I love that. That's so yeah. Cool. Yeah. So we're going to be doing that. But we're doing about three songs at the end of the night, the very end, where they end. But we're, yeah. So I hope you can go. Hope you. It's Saturday, December 2nd at 9. But bring friends, bring whoever you want. And uh, there's no cover charge. So, but it's for, right. yeah, it's a benefit event for the Humane Society for El Paso. So, oh, perfect. I'm there. I'll be there. Sounds good, Val. Well, thank you so much, Val, for your time. It was great getting to know you and all about your artistic work of being a tattoo artist. And I'm glad that you took that faith and pursued this full time. That's awesome. Thank you so much for having yeah. me. Yeah to talk to you it's been so much fun yeah it has and i'm and if you you know anyone wants to follow you they follow you on instagram on tattoos by val right you have your own instagram on that Mm -hmm. tattoos by val yes to dm you for appointments Mm -hmm. or they can stop up and ask for me and i'll i'll be there sweet and then uh just keep those products going too the ones that you're wanting to bring out the hoodies whatever you you know keep sharing and where we can buy that so oh definitely i will all right. Well, thank you again, guys. This is Joshua Jacob with Rhythm and Roads, and we have our special guest, Valerie Dermis. We'll catch you on the next episode.